Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, rectangle uh, OABC inscribed in this uh, quarter circle as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, this uh, horizontal distance uh, at this edge is uh, 2 units whereas the vertical distance uh, on this other edge is uh, 4 units and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, this uh, center O with this point uh, B as you can see in this uh, next diagram. Now we can see that this uh, line OB is uh, the radius of this quarter circle. Let me go ahead and represent this uh, radius by lowercase r. And now we are going to calculate the value of this uh, R. And now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, OCB. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, whole thing is uh, our radius uh, R. And we know that uh, this uh, tiny distance is uh, 2 units. So therefore uh, this uh, distance OC is going to be simply R minus uh, Likewise, let's focus on this uh, vertical uh, radius. This is our R as well. And we know that this uh, distance is 4 units. So therefore, this uh, distance uh, OA is going to be R minus 4, isn't it? And now we know that this uh, OABC is our rectangle. So that means this side uh, has got to be equal to this side. If this is r minus 4, then this has got to be r minus 4 as well. Now we know that this uh, OCB is a right uh, triangle. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg our side c. I'm going to call this side a and this side B. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. In our case, uh, A is R minus 2, B is R minus 4, and C is R. So therefore, this equation is going to become R minus 2 whole square plus R minus 4 whole square equals to R square and now let's recall this famous uh, identity a minus b whole square equal to a square minus 2ab plus uh, b square we are going to apply this uh, identity on uh, this uh, binomial and likewise uh, this binomial as well so therefore we are going to get uh, r square minus uh, 4r plus 4 plus likewise uh, r square minus uh, 8r plus uh, 16 equals to r square on the right hand side and now we can see that this uh, r square on the left hand side and this r square this is uh, gone let's go ahead and combine the like terms so we're going to get uh, r square minus uh, 12 r plus uh, 20 equal to 0 and now we can see that we got this uh, quadratic equation and we are going to solve this one by grouping and uh, factoring. So therefore, uh, let's uh, focus on uh, this uh, middle part. We are going to tweak this thing. This negative 12r could be written as negative 2r minus 10r. It doesn't make any difference whatsoever as you can see in this uh, next step and now we can see between first these two terms r is in common likewise in this uh, next two terms negative 10 is common so therefore let me go ahead and factor out r so we got r minus 2 here we're going to factor out negative 10 so we got r minus 2 over here equal to 0 and now we can see r minus 2 and r minus 2 is in common so therefore i can write uh, r minus 2 times uh, r minus uh, 10 equal to 0 since we got these two factors equal to 0 so i can separate them i can write r minus 2 equal to 0 and the other factor r minus uh, 
10 equal to 0. Let's focus on this first equation r minus 2 equal to 0 means radius r equals to 2 units. For this uh, next equation r is going to be equal to positive 10 units. And now we can see that r equals to 2 value is not possible if we look at uh, this uh, diagram. So therefore we are going to reject this r equals to 2 value and we are going to accept uh, r equals to 10 value. So therefore we figured out our radius r equals to 10. So that means this radius r equals to 10. And on this part uh, r minus 2 is going to be 10 minus 2 equals to 8 uh, units. And likewise on this thing uh, r minus 4 means 10 minus 4 equal to 6 units on this side. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, green shaded area equals to the quarter circle area minus the area of this rectangle OABC as this is represented by this uh, equation. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, quarter circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula. Area equals to pi r square. So therefore the area of this quarter circle is going to be pi times r in our case is 10. So I'm going to write down 10 square divided by 4 since we are dealing with the quarter circle. So let's go ahead and simplify it. So this is going to give us 10 square is 100 pi divided by 4. So that is going to be simply 25 pi. And now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, rectangle OABC. And now let's recall the area of a rectangle formula. Area equals to length times width. In our case, uh, the length is 8 and the width is 6 units. So therefore, the area of this rectangle OABC is going to be 8 times 6. So that is going to give us uh, 48 square units. And now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, these values in this above equation. So therefore that this uh, green shaded region area is going to be equal to the quarter circle area in our case is uh, 25 pi minus uh, the area of this rectangle is uh, 48 and if we replace this uh, pi value, so then uh, this uh, green shaded region area is going to be approximately equal to 30.54 square units. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded region turns out to be approximately equal to 30.54 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.